Hey, welcome to the Stupid Food Review Show. I'm your host as always, J-I-A-T. I gotta get, I get a lot of stuff out. Okay, we do got the Detroit-style pizza. Now, some folks may not know this. I was like the first one to do it. Like, half, almost a year ago. It's a different pizza now completely and everything, but whatever, I got the credit for it. And I also want to mention, peep this out in the endorsement both. Acknowledge the video. I really super appreciate that, totally. Um, I can't thank both of them enough. Also, this week I posted a video and it's at 6,200 views and rising. And that's cool. It's the only video I've ever posted that didn't have food. So that maybe tells me something. But what are you going to do? Okay. I think I got everything out that I wanted to talk about. Yeah, all right. Um, like I said, I didn't, I could have reviewed this on the day it came out because we have a pizza hut pretty close by. But um, I'd already done it. I was the first. So I figured I'd let everybody, whatever. And it, awesome. I got some mentions and that was very cool. But, and I watched everybody's review. Everybody. Well, now I got it. So I'm going to review it too. This is the um, Detroit style double pepperoni. There's four of them. There's like a double pepperoni one. There's like a double cheeser one. Um, a Supremo one. And like a meat, a meatsy meat, a what? A meat one. A meat lovers. But this is the double pepperoni. Oh, I'm excited. I, I haven't even, I haven't even seen it yet. I'm very excited. Oh, shit, I forgot. I already ate this pizza. It was good pizza. But uh, there's only one slice. I mean, I could just review that one slice. I mean, it's not really a good reveal because you're not, you're not seeing, like, anything awesome, like a big giant pizza. But, you know, I couldn't do that to you. I couldn't do that to you because I bought two of them. Cause I love Detroit style, baby. This one has not been opened yet. It's sealed for her protection. There you go. This is the Supremo. It's got sausage, peppers, and the main thing is the sauce is on top. Is this, as the endorsement says, grandma style? I don't know what that means, but this is the Supremo. And a Detroit style is just, it's baked in a square pan with a little extra dough, and they caramelize the effort out of it. And it's the best pizza in the world. And Little Caesars, you know, I see a lot of shots on Little Caesars. Little Caesars makes an excellent Detroit style, and so does Hungry Howie's. And um, everybody tells me, I never have tried one. And it's also a Michigan Pizza Your Happies. They are like, they're the ones that really capitalize on the whole Detroit style. Because Little Caesars doesn't even, Little Caesars is based in Michigan, and they don't call their pizza, their Detroit style, a Detroit style. They call it Deep Deep Dish. Um, the only person that uses uh, the slang Detroit is Jets, because Domino's doesn't even have a Detroit style. And um, Hungry Howie's doesn't call theirs Detroit style either. So you don't capitalize on that, you fools. Anyways, this is for dinner tonight, the Supremo. But I am definitely going to try. I've already tried it. It was good. But I think people want to see you eat the food, so there you go. Like I said, I already did it. But when I did the Detroit style, it didn't have sauce on the top. Sauce was underneath. So I guess that's 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 a major change. Oh yeah, the box is really cool. It talks about stuff. What does it say? 50% uh, more cheese, melted all the way to the edge, loaded with toppings, cooked to perfection. Vine ripened tomato sauce on top. I'm yeah, and the way I'm hearing it is it's different than their normal pizza sauce. Um, keeps the crust light and airy. 
crispy, cheesy edges, hint, go for the corner pieces. And there's something about how many pepperonis specifically there are on this. But I would have to look it up. But there's like a specific amount of uh, pepperoni on it. There you go. It's got sauce on top. Pepperoni. You know what? I'm going for the Supremo. I had enough of that pepperoni beer. There we go. Sometimes you gotta do change. I don't script these out. Sometimes you, on the fly, you just you gotta change the rules. This is Supremo. It's um sausage, green pepper. All right. A little cold, so there's no cheese ball. There we go. We'll just leave that open. Come on. All right. Supremo. It's got, I think it's got onions too. Onions, peppers, and sausage. My wife's going to hate it. Here we go. Hmm. It's almost... like a pizza casserole. You almost want to use a knife and fork. Oh, good. I just found out that a Pizza Hut, or a Pizzeria, that's right down the road from us, makes a Chicago style. So I'm, for the first time ever, I've never had a Chicago style. And this is supposed to be traditional, heavy duty, Rudy thing. So I'm going to review that. Kind of looking forward to that, because I've never even tried one of those. All right, let's try the crust. Hmm. Sorry, I let it get cold. It's not as crunchy as it should be, but the problem is, it doesn't matter. That's really good cold. Mmm. See all that sauce on top? And it's still light and airy. Mmm. I enjoyed it. All right, here's... Here's the scoop. Is it better than the first Detroit style. I got one from a test market. And it was while they were trying to figure out what they were going to do before they were releasing it nationally. It was like in March of this year. Um, not of this year, of last year. Um, the one I rev it reviewed was better than this. I like that sauce. It's like a clean flavor and everything, but it's sloppy. Every bite you take, it gets all over your face. I mean, I guess that's part of the food, enjoyment of food, but I can't stand getting sauce, and it gets a, gets a lot of sauce on your face, and it really dominates the flavor of the pizza. It's got this awesome crust, and if the sauce was baked into it like traditional crust, it would just make the crust a little bit tastier, and the sauce not so dominant, because instead of enjoying the crust, it's the first thing you when you take a bite, it's just an explosion of sauce. So you know what? Uh, I think it was a, I gave it a 10, the original one. This one gets an 8. But, it's still cool, it's still you know, unique. I don't know if this is a Detroit style. I don't, I don't, I'm from Michigan and, and Detroit style didn't really it wasn't really a thing a few years back. Now it's now it's a thing, but I've never had a Detroit cell head sauce on the top. That's a decision they made. There's, they obviously are sticking with it. But if you want, you're, I'm gonna post it down below. You can check it out. You can see the Detroit uh, Detroit style that I reviewed, and whether or not you want that one or this one, you be the judge. But. That's a good pizza, but it's not as good as the original one they made. Love you guys. Love you, babe.